Oh, stop procrastinating. Time's running out. You've got to write something. Got to write. Uh, oh, I literally have no good ideas. Oh, okay, quick. Uh, brainstorm. Uh, uh, a toothbrush having an existential crisis. Oh, how can I seriously consider myself a writer? Maybe I could monologue about a detective. Could be interesting. A Sherlock Holmes type. A sophisticated gentleman who uses the powers of deduction to solve a case. Oh, but no one cares about stuffy old rich arseholes. I need something gritty in there. Something more immediate. Like a hard boiled cop on the streets of Sin City, all noir style. He's just discovered the body parts of a six-year-old girl in the dark lair of a sadistic paedophile. Maybe too gritty. I need something less soul-destroying. Maybe an element of fantasy to lighten the mood. Like a superhero. I could just stop trying to be original and rehash something that's already been done. Revive some character archetypes. Oh, but comic books are the worst for that. Superman and Batman. They're the only two original characters. The rest are just knockoffs, no matter how fancy they're dressed up. Now, think about it. Iron Man, a playboy billionaire who coverts as a superhero with high tech gadgets. Sound familiar? Spider Man, that's just changing the animal and making him radioactive. And that in itself is a knockoff of the Fantastic Four. The original radioactive superheroes. But again, they were only made radioactive to give them superpowers, which is in essence a rip off of Superman anyway. <sighs> How can I be expected to think outside of the box when the finest creative minds in the last 50 years can't? I just need to think of a situation where a natural monologue occurs. One that isn't mundane or cliche or, more importantly, shit. Maybe I could relate this to myself somehow. What monologues have I done? What situation have I been in where I've had a monologue? Holy shit! Hi. Hi. Is this your shop? Uh, yes it is. It's really cool. Oh, thanks. I like your t-shirt. Oh, thanks. Is that Mario Kart? Mario, yes. Do you like Mario? Love him. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, I prefer Luigi. But Mario's the hero. Like, no matter how many times Peaches gets kidnapped, he always rescues her. Maybe that's how a princess can love a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favourite Mario game? Super Mario 2, for sure. Oh, that's the only one I don't have. No way, but it's amazing. I mean, I've never actually finished it, but it's amazing. <laughs> I just love the retro games, you know? Blocky graphics, weird buzzy music. Everybody thinks I'm stupid, but they just seem so much more real and magical and, I don't know, probably sound pretty cool. No, no, I agree. There you are. Hey, I was just looking around. This your shop, mate? Yeah. You got the new Call of Duty here, looks proper sick. <laughs> we don't really sell those types of games in here. <laughs> right, <laughs> whatever. We better get going, babe. Um, yeah, it was really nice talking to you. You too. Guys, do anything today? Maybe we, we should get together. Not today.
Happen. I was having a fight. Well, I was fighting you because you're never it. here. Well, someone's got to pay the bills. You know. What's happened now? You haven't done anything stupid again, have you? No, I don't think so. He's always working. He needs more money, then they can be happy again. No money in the world can buy that. I'm bored. Let's play the pillow game. I don't feel like playing. Hey! I've got the pillow, so I get to decide what we do. Let's go outside and play. I don't want to. Come on! <laughs> 